Okay, now we're going to talk about the disc and belt sander. Again, two machines that you may think are not necessarily real dangerous. Um, however, this machine is definitely capable of causing harm, just as the drill press is. First thing that you should be concerned about is the fact that it has a moving object, a moving part that is exposed. That moving part could grab things such as long hair, necklaces, um, long chains or whatever, the, the, the pull tabs from the sweatshirt. And if those get sucked into this, it will pull you right into the machine. Okay? Same with the drill press. Now, um, knowing that, there are a couple other safety rules you should consider. Um, first of all, if you do get injured on this, it's probably going to be because of some type of a kickback. And uh, an abrasion wound, which is what you would have here, is going to hurt you probably just as much as a cut from a saw blade. Um, an abrasion will actually remove your skin so it cannot get stitched up and it would have to heal naturally. Um, so a much longer time to heal. Alright, first thing we're going to talk about here are safety rules for the disc and belt sander. Number one, when using the disc sander, you want to start at the center of the disc and move to the left. This is Dallas, call the office. This is Dallas, call the office. Number two, fingers should never be closer than four inches from sandpaper. Number three, when using the belt sander, never sand anything larger than the belt. This is the belt back here, and you would never want to sand a board that is longer than the belt or that is wider than the belt. Four, keep your workpiece moving to prevent it from burning because you're using sandpaper. Sandpaper causes friction, friction causes heat, and heat will cause your wood to burn. You need to keep it moving so it does not overheat and start smoking. And number five, never use this machine to remove more than one eighth of an inch of material. This is not a saw and it should not be used to square a board. It is used to form a board, to sand an edge, to round a corner, things like that. It is not used for squaring a board. Now, the disc sander is usually used to radius an external curve, which I'm going to demonstrate here. Um, the belt sander is usually used to sand an edge. Okay. It's important to note that when I turn on the power, the disc will start spinning to the left and the belt will also start moving, so make sure that somebody is not leaning on here, nor did you put anything on here before you turn it on.